What's up everybody, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 bringing you another video. Today is August 26th, Saturday, and we're just taking a quick look inside on what really is growing, what we currently have, what I'm currently doing, and any additional projects that I'm considering of doing. Right now, as you can see, now I haven't really posted a lot of new stuff. I did post that new uh, watermelon video and um, that was a great video but I wanted to show you what's really going on inside the grow tent today some of the stuff that I started uh, probably just a few weeks ago it's all lettuce okay right now I just I just thought about just I, I want to go full out lettuce because I thought it was the most important we also got one down there right now and I'd like to get two additional tubs here so this t entire tent at, at this point in time will be dedicated to lettuce. So right now we have this beautiful red uh, butter lettuce. This is a uh, La Rosa and this is like a pirate lettuce. Uh, let's take a closer look. I love when they get kind of uh, a little harder. Uh, some of the some of them pieces are really nice and buttery, really beautiful, light and kind of like creamy-ish. Um, but as you can see here, it kind of gets these like little bumps right here. It's it's really great and it provides a really nice texture when you're eating. Overall, these lettuces are looking really good. These are about two weeks old. They're really looking nice. Uh, yesterday was actually feeding day and I actually didn't feed them yesterday, but I should. As you can see, really nice, beautiful, white, healthy roots all throughout looking really good. I'm going to probably fill up some water in the next day, probably maybe today if I have time, and um, also feed them some of their nutrients that's required. Also here we have some of the, uh, that red one also kind of came over here because I had some additional seedlings. As you can see that one up there died out, but overall the, uh, the yield is coming along well for this entire row. This one's looking pretty too. It's looking really, really nice. The heads are starting to come in. They're looking nice and healthy. Absolutely beautiful colors, as you can see here. It's like a really nice green butter lettuce with uh, with a beautiful red inside. It's quite interesting how, you know, you look at this one, and we have kind of a transparent green with more red, and this is more of a green with, uh, with less red. This is more red with less green, more green with less red. Interesting. Seems like they're almost like a hybrid of each other, the way that they're actually opening up. Uh, the leaves are definitely a little different, the way that they're, this one's kind of almost like a, it almost looks like a, uh, something that you see at the bottom of the sea, the way that it's structured all throughout here. Really nice. These are really delicious lettuces once they get a little bigger. I'm really going to try to consume them in their early stages because I noticed that if I let lettuce go too long, that's my biggest issue. When it gets, when it goes too long, it becomes a little too bitter, and that's when I actually start to not want to eat any more lettuce. Okay, so it's I'm really going to make it a point to um, to try eating it in its early stages. As you can see again here, we have beautiful white roots all throughout. They're looking really, really good. You gotta kind of play it strategically. So what I did uh, early on, I noticed, you know, and if you guys have built one of these and I uh, have multiple videos that show instruction on how to build your own reservoirs, um, it's almost like a game of chess because you're gonna have some pods that might bring down roots earlier than others. And what you wanna do is, as you can see at the bottom, you know, you have your aerator stone and it doesn't always equally distribute the air supply the oxygen to the roots. So what you want to do is maybe modify, um, what you want to do is maybe modify some of them and kind of switch them around, put them here, put them there, just so you have the roots kind of falling in specific areas. This way the oxygen gets to them a little better. Now here um, we have a, a different type of lettuce. I wanted a more of like a hard lettuce, more of like a romaine type of lettuce. This is just under a week old. These seedlings have been going on, but overall I think it's doing pretty well. Let's take a look underneath here. Uh, we have a few little, uh, as you can see here, a couple of uh, little hairs poking out. A couple of nice little roots. Uh, overall, it's really in its early stages of everything. I haven't even put the nutrients in yet because uh, there's really no point. 
at this point in time there's no roots that are currently hitting the water that would even allow the nutrients to go up so what I actually do is still to this point I kind of sometimes just feed them through right through the uh, the top with my little syringe and this is a um, I forgot what this lettuce is called but I'll probably let you guys know in the next video it's a uh, like a Cristo or uh, something in that in that I can't remember exactly what the name of this type of lettuce is but it's more like a towery uh, romaine lettuce and uh, I've never grown it before so we will see exactly how that turns out I'm pretty excited to see what the uh, result is let me give you a, uh, a little brighter of a shot let's see what that looks like yes yeah, so these guys are little seedlings now probably in the next uh, week and a half to two weeks we should see a little more uh, better results and down here it's kind of the same thing um, as you can see here I had two and as I, as I actually had them in my in my in my uh, in my little dome and I was about to plant them into here my cat decided to actually eat two of them while they were seedlings and this is the resolution this is this is this is the result I have two missing uh, two missing heads of lettuce because of that now I only have one light running under here as you can see I might turn the second one on um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet. I was thinking about taking this top row. It's such a pain in the butt to actually do all this because it's really hard. Once this is all set up and you have all this going on, I mean, especially if you have water in these, it's almost impossible to move these levels, okay? Because everything is like structurally sound, meaning each post relies on each level to kind of keep it all hold and, and tight. So moving them up and down would be really impossible. So I, I also have some, I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna dedicate one entire, maybe initially row or even down here at the bottom, I wanna do um, uh, microgreens. I love microgreens. They are absolutely delicious, number one. And number two, they're actually really profitable. And I'm gonna try microgreens. I've never tried to grow them before. But I have seen and I have read and I looked into it, a lot of people making significant amount of money just growing microgreens every, every five to seven days, packaging them up and potentially going to the local uh, you know, restaurants and stuff like that and trying to sell them off. Now, I'm not even sure how much they're getting per each or per weight or what the situation is, but it seems pretty lucrative. Now, I don't really need all that but it's just cool to know that you could grow a ton of these microgreens also i believe that the light should not be this far away from the actual plants because the trays are going to be much thinner and there's going to be a lot of room here so you could actually really create a ton of different microgreen levels which will allow for substantial growth and um, heavy yields which is exactly what we're after we're after taking as much space as given and trying to grow as much as possible in the overall space utilizing certain size tubs as well as lights as you can see here I actually got really lucky okay um, the light stretches across the entire perimeter of my um, of my storage area and these reservoirs fit perfectly I could put three in which case I am maximizing the yield on this entire shelf because I could do three which basically gives me 27 plants if I really wanted to at nine pods per reservoir which is awesome but as I was talking before what I wanted to do is I wanted to take this one level bring the one plant here and strictly have the microgreens right here if you guys have grown microgreens if you grow microgreens right now actually leave me a comment down below at what what growing medium are you using okay I don't want to use dirt um, at least I don't want to use dirt in this tent now I do have an extra tent and I have no problem buying new shelving and new lights it's just it's just something additional in the house and just more work on trying to continuously grow and that's what I'm doing I'm gonna be doing a lot of other things I'm gonna be trying to do like peppers and tomatoes as you guys know I've tried cucumbers indoors before I've grown broccoli hydroponically all those things hydroponically but I am going to be just cruising into growing indoors even with dirt but regarding the microgreens I want to stay away from the dirt for now so if you if you could recommend like a pad and please don't link into like an in your Amazon affiliate link um, if you could recommend something 
Uh, are you using paper towels? Are they just moist? Are you just wetting them? What exactly are you doing that will allow a nice, uh, nice growing medium? And also, are there any nutrients involved or are you just literally spreading the seed? I found this incredible device that if I buy it, I'll obviously share my experience with it. But it allows you to kind of go into, it takes your, your uh, it takes your microgreen seeds and then you press this button once it's like sitting inside this pan and it basically drops seeds down this will uh, this will reduce the amount of cluttered seeds that will prevent molding because when you have a lot of seeds in one area balled up it will create more of like a mold spur and you don't want that you want even you want even uh, even seeds throughout so I might try that but I, I just you know I have a ton I bought a one thing of like broccoli microgreens and I just want to try that so this is it this is what I got going on now um, it's gonna be lettuce I'm gonna be putting a couple more things in here I kind of want to put in some uh, cilantro and maybe something else just to kind of uh, get this whole thing going but as you can see here um, I'm trying to think I'm, I think I could raise this up a little bit uh, but I don't want this the light to be too close to the plants just overall number one burning them and two just uh, I, I think it'll just be too much too much heat at times but uh, for the microgreens I might need it a little closer but it's all about testing out the waters and seeing how it all works again this is what I currently got going on guys thank you all so so much for watching if you like the video make sure to give me the thumbs up make sure to subscribe make sure you hit the bell so you're always notified regarding uh, newly uploaded videos I want to thank you all for watching make sure to share with friends and family I'll talk to you guys soon have a good one